Well, thank you for joining me, Kanye. I appreciate it. I want to know all about the Uplift magazine. It's a conversation between two women. Most times when friends get together, they'll talk, they'll react. When women talk, they go into quite deep discussions between themselves. But yet, there's parts that they won't talk about. That's where we go. So we go into health issues. The main thing is it's not for the young marrieds. It's more for 35 and over. Our core people are around 40, 45 and over. All our writers are women. Everyone involved in the magazine is is woman. We speak very openly about everything. So it started as a WhatsApp group four years ago. And what happened was my mother was a very, very big part of the Jewish community where we live. And she died very, very suddenly. The women who were around us, they just kept on coming in, first of all, first to the Shiva house, afterwards, what are we gonna do? How are we gonna manage? What? She was like a mother to them. She really was. She was a Rebbitzin, a mother, a Kipfer teacher. She did, she did it all. And these women had really connected with her. So I thought, you know what? Let's set up a WhatsApp group. We set it up and we had a few meetings in my home. And then two months later, COVID, the wretched COVID, came along so everything changed we sat and i saw these women were totally lost now because not only couldn't they get together but they didn't have this figure who would talk to them so first we kept it as a whatsapp group and then i realized that the women who i was trying to reach were not on whatsapp they most of them weren't even on computers so i thought okay what am i going to do now so I called up my daughter and I said, you know, we're going to start a little magazine. We'll do it in Bookie's name. And, and my kids went, you're not doing this, you know, small little magazine. If you do it, you do it right. Where do you see this going? Like, what's the ultimate goal with this? I want to build a community called the Uplift Women, who are there to help each other, whether it's interpersonal and people with mental health issues. That's my aim. So the first time I realized I was making a change in someone's life, a woman met me. She had a lot of children. She goes, I must tell you something. She goes, I wasn't feeling well. I kept on going to bed. I was feeling down. I couldn't figure out what was happening. And then I read your article and I realized I have the menopause. And to me, that was wow. I mean, this woman is a woman with a family. She knows her body and she had found that she couldn't name what she was going through you never really understand it until you read it and you see it in front of your eyes that this is a symptom that's a symptom and that really changed the way i i felt about the magazine i got a specialist doctor to work with us because i never want to give information that's not right it's really important that we get it all right and my health part is very very uh, solid i'm very solid about it yeah